In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your first experience. First, to create your experience, click on Create Experience. After clicking on the Create Experience button, you'll be taken to the workspace known as the Storyboard. In the Storyboard, you'll notice that there is a top bar that is darkened. On the top left, you'll notice the Metaverse logo. By clicking on here, you'll be taken back to your Experience Preview page. Directly to the right of that is the Experience name. It's currently titled Untitled Experience, but we'll change that once we decide to publish our experience. This is an undo button. It will allow you to undo an action in the storyboard. You can also zoom out and zoom in using the magnifying glasses. On the right hand side there are three buttons. Test, which will allow you to quickly scan your experience to test it. The share button, which will provide a URL for you to send and the Publish button, which will allow you to save changes made in your storyboard. Now let's take a look at the main area of the storyboard. You'll notice that on the left-hand side, there's a box with a gear, and this is called the initial scene. Directly to the right of the initial scene is a character scene. This will appear every time you create a new experience. A character scene is the most basic type of scene in Metaverse. It's made up of a piece of dialogue, a character, and an area to add buttons or add actions. Let's go ahead and select our character. To select a character, simply click on Select Character. From here, you're taken to the Character Selection menu. You'll notice thousands of different characters that you can use in your Metaverse experiences. On the left-hand side, you can also see characters that you've created, you can go into the Google Poly Library to find different 3D characters to use. The 3D animated section will provide 3D characters with animations that you can select. And then Jiffy Cat stickers provide thousands of GIFs for you to use. On the left hand side you'll also see that several characters are tagged. Feel free to look in the tags and select a character. I think I'm going to use this hatched egg. Now let's add some dialogue. Maybe we'll say something like, hello world. To add dialogue, simply click in the dialogue area and then type what you'd like it to say. Now let's add an action button. You can add action buttons by clicking on add action. You can add as many buttons as you'd like. And you can delete buttons by right clicking and selecting delete. You may have noticed that the right hand menu changes depending on what you click on in the storyboard. For example, if I click on the button, you'll see button controls. If I click on an empty space in the scene, I'll see some scene controls. These will change depending on what scene or block that you click. In a character scene, you can also add a sound or add a frame, and we'll be talking about these in other tutorials. Now that we have our first scene set up, let's go ahead and add another character scene. To add a new scene or block, simply click on Add New at the top right of your workspace. From here, you'll notice that there are several different scene types which we'll be talking about in other tutorials. There are also some modules you can use, which are presets and over a hundred different blocks that perform functions in the background. You can think of scenes as being the visual elements, or what the user will see when they view an experience, and the blocks as logic elements, or actions that happen in the background of an experience. Let's go ahead and add a second character scene. You'll notice that the character is already a hatched egg. We can change this character by clicking on the character and then clicking the small pencil icon. Maybe for this one, we can choose a turkey. Maybe we'll say, great job. Let's also add an action button, and now let's edit our buttons a bit. You'll notice that these red circles have appeared next to the buttons. What this means is that the button does not transition to another experience. In other words, these two experiences are not linked to one another. To transition between experiences, click on the button, 
and then you'll find transition controls on the right hand side. Let's also add some text to our button. Maybe we'll write next. Then in the transition controls, we can choose where we want it to transition to by using the drop down menu and selecting the scene or by using the pointer. To use the pointer, simply click on it and then select where you'd want it to transition to. Now you can see that a link has formed between these two scenes, and so by clicking on the next button, you'll be taken to the next scene. Now in this button, let's end the experience. So in our right hand menu, for the text, we'll put end. And then in the transition controls, we'll select end experience. Now we have a very basic two scene experience, but we're not done yet. In order for these changes to be saved, we need to click Publish at the top right. You'll notice that the Publish button is now purple, and this means that you have unsaved changes to your experience. If you ever see this, make sure to click Publish to save these changes. Once we click on Publish, you'll notice that we now have the option to add an experience name. I'm going to title this Getting Started tutorial. You can also add a description to your experience. Maybe we'll say my first experience. On the left hand side you'll also notice that there's an advanced section. By clicking on this we can decide how we want our experience to be discovered and whether or not we want to allow cloning of the experience. We'll go into more detail about the advanced section in another video. For now, let's leave it public and let's allow cloning. Once we're happy with all these options, we can click on publish and the experience is now published. After you publish an experience, a share page will pop up. This is the same page that will appear when you click the share button. From here, it'll show you your unique QR code that people can use to view your experience. And it will also display a share link which you can send through social media or copy to send in a text message or an email. To copy this share link, you can click on this clipboard button and the link will be copied. This is what the link looks like in your browser. Now anybody with the app can view this experience. Once you're done with the share options, simply click on the X at the top right. So now we have a fully functioning completed experience that you can share with your friends. We'll be adding to this experience in later tutorials, and I'll be showing you how to use the different scene types and block types. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.